Hey, Melanation, Melanin gang, what's up, what's up, what's up, you already know, it's your girl, the newbie, the nova, back with another one, my kings, queens, loves, and bays. welcome to the chancel, welcome to the chancel, welcome to the chancel, okay, so, I'm just sitting here trying to grasp some energy, because, for one, first things first, this will be a rainbow baby reading, spirit baby reading number two i want to talk about this reading i did yesterday that touched on a lot of worldly subjects that i'm still trying to debate if i want to post or not i'm about to watch it a couple more times to see if i want to post it because the original video got distorted but you already know how i am about just showing the authentic shit of my channel so when i realized the video didn't download I went back and tried to get y'all, like, a little summary and shit. And then, like, the ending is still the original part of the video. But I feel like I was just touching on too much real subjects. I was, like, really fussing at y'all. And the topics and shit that came out in that reading was so deep. Like, I had to pray, like, literally before I got off the fucking camera. So, I just want to say, when that reading does come out, I already know that's not going to be for everybody. Or it could be for a lot of people because... We live in a society where people turn a lot of blind eyes to shit. People like to fluff shit up and make it make it seem like everything is just some shit that it's not for motherfuckers who could give a fuck less. You know what I'm saying? And want to see you feel and proud that you're sitting there faking it instead of just being authentic self. You'd be fucking surprised. But going back to... Um, I'm bringing out my diet and shit like that. No, I have not been eating no McDonald's. I just went to get water because I work out. And this is McDonald's right there. This is Oprah water with mint. I'm just using the cup. Um, also, so like I was saying, I'm just trying to get back on my little health shit. I'm going back. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to say because it too much because this is like my mother be fucking with so much shit. But yeah, I'm getting back on that vegan shit regardless. Because what's meant for me is meant for me. There's no escaping or whatever. But, um, so yeah, I have all this stuff, right? So I've been waiting, been waiting on my package to come out a little cute later in the package stuff. And so I ordered this big ass thing because I've been doing my research of diet to make this earth, right? I didn't even think it was going to come in this big ass thing. The bottle on the thing, they say the three pounds, but the bottle on the thing, I'm thinking like it's about to come in capsules. They just give me this big ass fucking thing. Like, so it's gonna be like my first time taking it. And I also ordered this collagen, biotin, keratin, hyaluronic acid, and soft polymer so supplement. So I will be doing a review on these because I'm gonna get back on my health journey videos for y'all and my hair journey videos and stuff for y'all. But, on the flip side of that, y'all, so they sent me my package was delivered. So, I opened the door, I didn't see it. So, I'm like, okay, let me go check out my trash, let me go check out my mail. So, I go down there, I got letters in the mail, but I'm like, where the fuck is my package? So, I asked the security guy, like, you know, y'all see Amazon. I'm like, what? And I'm like, I don't know how to use them other than the mailbox at the bottom. So, I come back up here, I'm like, okay, I know I ain't tripping. I'm about to call these people because, bitch, I ain't just waste my money. <laughs> so, I go back on the phone. Okay, and I'm like, they said they put anything. Call me back up with the other security guard. I'm like, this is my security mailbox. And see, so he walked into the mailbox with me. Take the little keys out. So I'm like, there's some extra keys in here. So, we find which one they go to. Boom. So, I'm thinking, so, like, he handed me this package first. And I'm looking confused because I'm seeing Similac, right? So I'm like, why the fuck? Oh my god, that's not what I ordered. But I'm looking at the name on the invoice, and I'm like, it's my name, it's my address. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's just the box, the package, and some shit like that. Then I had out another cardboard box, which is in there on my couch. And both of these came in the thing together. So when I open up this, I'm like, there's no way. So I'm checking the invoice again, too. Like, bitch, I didn't pay for this shit. Like, why the fuck did they send me this? Why the fuck did they send me something similar? It's them. Whatever fuck. 
I've been seeing them for five months. I ain't got no damn baby. I ain't ordered none of this shit. Like, the fuck is wrong with y'all? And you got all these little coupons and all this crazy shit up in here, right? So they're gonna open up the coupons, right? Why the fuck the coupons got my fucking name on the shit? So I'm like, y'all motherfucking tripping. So then I go look at the year for the expiration date. Because as long as I see a coupon, I always look at the expiration date. Why the fuck this shit say June of 2022? I'm just like, nigga, it's 2024. And boom, it automatically dawned on me like, okay, it's spirit baby. And then I had this one to this girl baby shower the other day. And I was telling my cousin about this thing. I said to myself how baby showers is bad. Fucking lucky you're supposed to have your baby showers. So... I got to recollect, I'm like, what the fuck was you doing back in 2022? And then it dawned on me. I'm like, oh, okay. But at first, like, the, like, me trying to click back into 2022 was, like, real fuzzy. Like, I can remember everything else, but what the fuck that is. But, you know, your body, your mind automatically blocks out certain traumas or certain events when, like, you're going through something. Like, it's just, it's the body's way of protecting yourself, right? And then when I look at the bottom of the milk, right, what the fuck? Do one of these say June of 2023? And one says October 2023. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it says October and June. Why the fuck? Even if I didn't have a baby. Why the fuck would y'all send me some shit? For 2023 to give to my child. Then it got me like, okay. Maybe this is a spirit baby trying to connect with somebody or me or whoever the fuck this message is for because we are collective over here. Some of y'all got pregnant. What this shit say? June of 2022. And some of y'all due dates could have been that June of 2023 or October of 2023 or something like that. Take it how it resonates, but somewhere within that time frame, like somebody was supposed to got pregnant and had a baby within that time frame. Because there's no fucking way like this shit just pop up at my house. Like it's just awkward as fuck. And then when I first came to do this reading, it was two o'clock on the dot. Now it's two ten. Seven forty five, seven forty seven on the other clock. Okay. What is today's day? Wednesday, April 24th. We about to see what the fuck is up with this rainbow baby reading. I'm also hearing like some of y'all could have been going through some things with dating to figure out what kind of man or something y'all want or father y'all want or your, your spirit baby was putting you up like matching you up with certain people with certain characteristics or something like that. <clears throat> but for whatever reason, something didn't go through. Cause some, like something didn't go through. I'm here saying something didn't fall through. And I kind of did a reading confirmation. I kind of did a reading like this a couple months ago. And I was talking about y'all would have to do the work. Like it's something about something wasn't clicking. And y'all needed to do that work in order for things to click or something. <sighs> what is this spirit maybe trying to tell its parents about this June 2022 to October of 23? What, what is this spirit maybe trying to tell its parents about this time frame? Yeah. Eight of Wands in reverse. Something was supposed to happen swiftly, but it didn't happen. It took another route. Just like I said in the beginning, what's meant for me will always be meant for me, whether it's sped up or slowed down. Something was slowed all the way down. Something did not make it through to its full potential. Your child did not get its justice with making it into this realm. Something did not happen. You were not able to give birth to this star. There is a purpose of this child being born. You cannot just procreate this child or these children with just empty bodies. 
A lot of y'all not made just to be baby mamas and baby daddies. Y'all meant to run empires and leave legacies. Not saying people that are baby mamas, baby daddies can't do that, but it's supposed to be a whole dynamic of a purpose behind this. Y'all not just no average Joes. And I keep seeing species. She kept, she like, I'm hearing man eater. Like she kept, she kept searching till she found him. She's like, like, you're useless. If you use to use to the next bitch and off the niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what we like fucking with. Like on a spiritual fucking level. Some of y'all could deal with a lot of irregular bleeding or something like that. Some of y'all could deal with cryptic pregnancies or go through times where y'all have um pregnancy symptoms, but it keeps saying that y'all not pregnant. Y'all probably is, but until your baby is for sure, sure, it wants to reveal itself. It's not going to reveal itself. God grant us the serenity to set the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I said, God grant us the serenity to set the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'm burning some rosemary, you guys. Anybody sending any evil eyes towards me in my collective, please return that shit back to sender with intent and love so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, yeah. I said, anybody sending any evil eyes towards me in my collective, please return that shit back to sender with intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, yeah. I must got some clear energy because that went out real quick. I say. What happened to make this slow down? What happened to make this pregnancy slow down? What happened to make this pregnancy slow down? I'm seeing the three of hearts. And I keep seeing the moon card. Five of um, pentacles in reverse. So somebody just get, get left out all the way in the cold because something happened. The hair of five. A contract was in void. A contract was in void. I'm hearing God seen something that you didn't. God seen something. God or your spirit baby seen something that you didn't. That weren't granted access. Somebody didn't do the work. Somebody had all the credentials, all the potential. Because I'm hearing that you got potential. You got you. Cause you got potential. You got you got potential. Uh, 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 uh. Here go that five of uh, pinnacles again in reverse. Somebody wasn't left out in the cold, but for however they couldn't get this off because the work wasn't done. Yeah, they wanted to be the emperor. But they did not do that last thing they needed to do. They procrastinated with the last thing they needed to do. I'm hearing cold feet. Cold feet. And they didn't know if they would have accepted that cup, it would have brought this baby in. But them not accepting that cup to do that little bit of work they needed to do. They put they self in the cold. Some, nobody left them in the cold. They left they self in the cold. And that's why they could not become this emperor. And that's what slowed down the process. So when it was time to get judgment called on it, y'all did not get the justice. And it was like all that hard work for fucking nothing. But God was showing you his potential. The motherfucker out there willing and got us like they, they showing you like a motherfucker can. Yeah, page of swords. Somebody was like all talk. They was all talk about this ten of cups, but when it came down to it, they really was indecisive. And like I said, y'all not meant to be out here being nobody fucking baby mama, baby daddy. Like if y'all gonna do this shit, y'all gonna have to make this shit a real union. Somebody was pussyfooting about if they really wanted to make that shit a real union or not. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to do it all the way. Ain't no half-stepping. 
But again, somebody was all talk. They didn't walk the walk. Your spirit will be shaking in here. Yeah. And somebody is in despair. Because they know if they would have motherfucking just did what the fuck they were supposed to motherfucking do, they would have had their empress. Now they want they want to put the burden down. They don't want to be a player. I think I found someone I could live my life for. Okay? I don't want to be a player no more. I think I found someone I could live my life for. I'm yours, you're mine for sure. Yeah, somebody was thinking about, okay, do I, do I let her come from the phone? Yo, Empress gonna get tired of fucking waiting. Now, motherfucker wanna rush in. They don't wanna be in a night of cups no more. They wanna rush in. But it's like, and I'm closed out on both sides. But now it's like, what is you really doing? Like, is he even worth? Is it even worth like? Cause you might not, you might have somebody else come in who who really is ready. Who not gonna put you out? Who gonna get it right the first fucking time? People' character is a character. Yeah, they can grow and do all this and that, but like when you like, I be telling you when y'all don't went through certain things with a person. It's on a learning level. So depending on if you done learned that level, that's like saying, oh, I done graduated from high school, but I'm going to keep going to 12th grade instead of go get my bachelor's or my master's or whatever. That's like saying, oh, you passed the fifth grade. Now you can go to middle school, but instead of going to middle school, you're going to stay in the fifth grade and keep repeating the fifth grade. Like, why the fuck would you do that? That's like you complaining about your pay grade and this and that. Very time a promotion come up and your boss try to give you a promotion. You don't take the promotion. But then you sit there and keep complaining about your income and your position at work. Like, fucking make it make sense. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, we got 18 on the clock, two, 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 two on the other clock. All right, some of y'all could be having twins. This could have happened to you on two different occasions. Or three or something like that. Or maybe six all together in your lifetime. With that two, 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 two. Take it how it resonates. Ooh, 1828 just on my clock. All right. So, yeah, basically... Basically, like, you're, you're manifesting, like I be saying, like, when you manifest stuff and you don't put the fine print and really be serious with your intents and stuff like that, it's going to come flawed. Or if you're not in a position where maybe you are all the way done with your work or you're still working on your shadow work, it's going to come flawed. Because what are you bringing to that relationship to where you can show somebody how to mirror you now that you are you know, for elevating, is this person really doing the work? Because a person can play face and keep up something for so long, but then they're going to go back to their original ways. But at the end of the day, people are their character, they're, they're still their genetic makeup. You know what I'm saying? So, on this go around of manifesting, are you dieting for this pregnancy to come in correctly? Are you taking the supplements you need for this pregnancy to come in correctly? Are you loving on yourself? 
for this pregnancy to come in correctly? Are you tapped into your childlike self and your creativeness for to procreate this child correctly? Okay. Are you really taking the time to get to know these people you are dating outside of a sexual, you know, chemistry, like, you know, to really procreate this child in? Like, a lot of this stuff matters. Your child knows its characteristics and it's in the other realm. They're, they look at you like, why the fuck would you pick with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, don't get blinded by certain fluffs or that they, you know what I'm saying, got a certain percentage. If it ain't the real deal thing. Like, time is ticking. Your child is a star. This child is waiting to be born. You know what I'm saying? And if you're the type of person that's just going out there dating and shit like that, your child is saying, get the fuck out there. Go get you something nice to put on. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you look fucking presentable. What type of man are you looking for? Go to those environments. It don't always have to be a club or something. You can go to other places. You can go to a fucking library. You can go to a um outside events, free events that's going on. You can go to a fucking festival. Go to a museum. Okay, go to that job fair or whatever, or whatever community outlet is going on, whatever. Go to a charity, whatever the fuck it is you need to do. Go tailgating. Go on that solo trip. Go on that girl's trip. Get your ass out the house. Like, God damn. But you gotta look at yourself like just because a motherfucker try to holler at you don't mean you gotta say yeah don't, and don't mean you gotta say you didn't know to every single body either. Learn how to read outside of this reading room books. I keep telling y'all that. Let me see the energy surrounding this relationship. procreate this child what would be the energy surrounding this relationship to procreate this child what would be the energy around this relationship to procreate this child personal pr no prison letters if i write you if i write you will you write back are you mad because i'm asking you 21 questions okay this could be somebody that's getting out of prison somebody could that, that's been preserved for you it's not exactly prison letters. Like, this could be somebody who feels like they are in some type of imprisonment, whether this is they're always busy at work or busy with their goals or their type of lifestyle. Um, they're already married or in a situation that they're trying to get out of um, imprisonment. Or like, um, they probably don't get out the house or date or just do shit either. So, they're like, they're always in their head about shit. This is, could be, like, online dating, like, scared to, like, have physical contact with motherfuckers and shit. Like... Okay, take it how it resonates for this love, bro. What is the energy surrounding how this child is going to be procreated? What is the energy surrounding this relationship, how this child is going to be procreated? If you look good, act bad, rich, set six figures and up, okay, so somebody got a little bit of bread. Like I said, like, y'all supposed to be building some type of legacy or something like that. You are not meant to be no baby mama, baby daddy. You're supposed to be a wife, a husband, a household name, not just a trophy, a, 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 a honorable person to have in the house and to and flaunt in around, okay? Not to say you're on a pedestal, but bitch, you're supposed to be on a pedestal, okay? Fuck out of here. What is the energy surrounding? What is the energy surrounding how this child is supposed to be procreated? And it's so. Nah, you funny. You funny, funny, funny. Because we a collective. You mad.
mad funny how you be having this shit coming out. But let's let's keep it going. Um again, go back. What were you doing in twenty twenty two? Who did you meet in twenty twenty two? Who were you dating in twenty twenty two? What type of cycles were you having back in twenty twenty two? What was going on during COVID? You know what I'm saying? With this like online dating and like when the outside first opened up if you were somewhere where they really had to like shut down, shut down, shut down for real. You know what I'm saying? What is the energy surrounding how this child is gonna be procreated? What is the energy surrounding around this relationship, how this child is gonna be procreated? Hotel life. So talking about trips or hotels, late nights, early mornings. Yeah, this motherfucker is getting to a bag. I'm hearing what you doing, where you at, where you been, you with your friends, I don't like them. They ain't writing, I can see it. None of them got a man. None of them dropping bins. None of them fucking with you. None of them got a man. He was like, you can be with me while I'm trying to count this money. Overnight success. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Like I said, you could be with me while I'm trying to make these Grammys. Okay? Late nights, early mornings, hotel life. Somebody wants you to travel with them. Like, fuck your friends. Fuck all that partying. Like, fuck all that stupid shit. So if this wasn't necessarily, like, this man that was on the bullshit, or maybe he could have pulled back because he was like, well, I'm about to see what you about to do. I'm going to fall back and see... Like, I don't want to be controlling over you or this, this, and that. You could have told this person certain things or he just see certain things in you because this person could be older. Emperor is a full-grown man, all right? But they looking at you like, like, damn, like, I just want to just give you the shit, but I don't want to just give it to you because I want you to learn. I want you to know what it is to have success. I want you to be humble just like I'm humble. I don't want to just spoil you rotten. But I want to spoil you rotten if it's making sense. Like in that one reading I just did, I just did a love reading. He's just like, I'm her headache. He's like, I'm her headache, but she sleep with peace and she sleep with me. Some shit like that. Like, over that success is not what you know, it's who you know. Like, prison letter. Like, somebody's in a prison, so they're like, damn. That's why, like, they sit here asking you. They, like, they, they really trying to figure you out. Like I said, you got to get to know the person that you about to be having this child with. But whoever it is, maybe they are successful already or they are on the brinks of becoming successful. And they want you to be successful with them. Y'all might have to live a little hotel life here and there. Or this could be going down in the hotel when you get pregnant. Okay, late nights, early mornings. This person trying to tell you, like, hey, I have to work. I'm hearing work, 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 work. Uh, uh, uh. I'm hearing wow, wow, thoughts. Wow, 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 thoughts. What I'm with you, all I get is wow, thoughts. Okay. Look in the mirror, unfit. Bump your head enough times, you will find out. Yeah, something wasn't a fit. Bump your head enough times, you'll find out. Like I said, this man is allowing you to bump your head enough times to find out. Dance to make her dance. Strip club, make it rain. If you are not from the strip club, you could be like this man's private stripper. Tonight I wanna dance for you. Oh, tonight I wanna put my body on your body. Boy, I love it when you watch me. Tonight is going down. Hey, I'll be rocking on my face, rocking, rocking on my face. Hey, rolling on my face, swirling, swirling on my face. Hey, stop playing. <coughs> Okay, what are the cons to this situation? What are some of the cons to the situation at hand, Spirit? What is some cons to this situation at hand that my collector should be aware of? What are some of the cons to the situation? All the lights on. 
so all the lights on so i'm hearing like you might not like a lot of attention on your personal business but like with this 21 questions this could be like not only like this person asking you questions it could be your family starting to ask questions this person's family starting to ask questions this could be the internet starting to ask questions your community starting to ask questions your neighborhood starting to ask questions like like a lot you I'm I'm hearing it's gonna be drawing in a lot of attention and like it might drive you fucking insane, okay? But you are the empress, you have to get used to being royal. This man wants you to bump your head enough time so like again, you know how to hold your head high. If this is making sense, like on some tough love type shit. I'm here turn on the lights in here, baby. Extra bright, I want y'all to see this. <laughs> all of the lights, all of the lights. Fast cars, shooting stars, all of the lights, all of the lights. Shooting stars, overnight success. You gonna shoot out a star, baby. You wanna shoot out a star, baby. And ain't June about to come up, like, so... Like around this June, you you might be about to be pregnant. Look at how it resonates. Between June, this June, and October coming up. October of next year. It says, teach them well and let them lead the way in reverse. So, like, again, this is that tough love. Person gonna see what you gonna do. And this is probably what is holding up the process from it coming in. I'm here nice and slow. Don't you know them girls like it nice and slow? And I'm hearing emotions make you cry sometimes. Emotions make you cry sometimes. And most of all, emotions make you fall in love. Okay. It says, I was just fucking them girls. I was going to get right back. Make love to me, 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 me. And this came out of reverse as well. So, this person's not out here fucking on. This person is really working late nights and early mornings. Maybe this person do got to stay in hotels and be gone on the road all the time. And it, and it might seem like maybe whatever y'all history was. That this person is messing with this girl and that girl. Because I'm hearing Drake. I know you sometimes. Um, hey, Baby, you're my everything. You all I ever wanted. We can do it real big. Bigger than you ever done. And you be up on everything. The mother hoes ain't never on it. I want this forever, darling. I can spend whatever on it. Because she hold me down. Whenever it's time I hit her up. And when I be down, Shawty be there to pick me up. I be there for her as soon as she hit me up. And I say the same thing every single time. Baby, you know you the best. You the fucking best, girl. You know you the best. You know you the best. You the best I ever had. Okay, stop fucking playing. And I be over there. Yep, I be over there. Yep, I be over there. I be hitting all the spots that she ain't even know is there. And she a patient in my waiting room. Never be assuming about them girls i'll be there as soon as i get through okay and to the um and, and to them hoes prove it you the one who never get confused with because baby you my everything you all i ever wanted okay okay nobody okay she was like this ain't high school oh we me and my crew we can slide through Okay, she was, he was like, he asked me, what about the niggas? I said, what about the niggas? You right. <laughs> what you doing tonight? Okay, stop fucking playing. So maybe that was a question in our hand. So all of the lights, so it's going to be a lot of questions going on. First cons, people all up in your business. I'm also hearing ain't none of your friends' business. Ain't none of your friends' business. Okay, and then teach them not to lead the way with this, like, letting you bump your head a couple of times, like, this tough love that you might, like, it might hurt your feelings a little bit here and there, but, like, it's for a reason. Or this time apart and stuff is for a reason. Okay, so I'm hearing, like, something about this silence is for a reason, because some of y'all could be, like, 
apart from each other right now because a lot of these cards come out like in reverse. But the Empress and the Emperor did come out. Like, you guys are the Empress and the Emperor. Period. It's just the Emperor came out in reverse because it's like, as much as he wants to take control of the situation, he has to let you be you. And if he's an older man, he got to let you grow a little bit, mature a little bit, let you get there a little bit, okay? And also with this, I was just talking to them girls, I was going to get right back. Like, again, this person is very, very busy. That is a con to this. But you, again, he is ha teaching you how to deal with that, and it might come off a little fucked up, okay? And, and something fucked up might have happened in the past, again. I was just fucking them girls, I'm going to get right back. But it's like, that's not the case right now. What other con could this be? Because, yeah, especially with the um, strip clubs coming out. Fresh wax shave. How the fuck is this a con? How we make it out of here? She filled my mind up with ideas. Staying the highest in the room. She filled my mind up with ideas. Straight up. Climax at same time in reverse. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so I got fresh shaved wax. Which I don't know how that could be a con. And then right after that, Travis Scott, highest in the room, came out. Hope we make it out of here. She filled my mind up with ideas. Okay, this person could be helping you with your wax or your shave while you're pregnant or something. I'm just seeing that, that scene on Sex in the City when old dude was helping her shave, even though she wasn't pregnant. Like, he just wanted to do it or something. Um, I'm hearing, like, you're not used to a man. Like, even though you're used to having, like, sexual relations with a man, you're not used to a man being all up in your space and all up in your business. Okay, that, that could be something else with all of the lights. Like, you and this man having to get, like, closer in a certain way is making probably, like, uncomfortable. Okay, she, I'm the highest school. She filled my mind up with ideas. Okay. Y'all could be bonding over this, but, like, a lot of pros and cons is coming out because with this, are you mad? I'm asking 21 questions. <laughs> okay, like, you both of this all up in your business. Like, literally all up in your business. And then also in the reverse. Now that I got you right here, I won't let you down. Climax at the same time. That's me push you time. That dick made me so proud. We be getting so loud. Hey, that it me so damn proud. And then your head down on the pillow. I'm going to take it real slow. I want you to scream my name. Okay. I'm hearing I catch. He was like, I catch one, she catch two. Now she's sleeping over. Okay. Bust it, baby. I'm about to bust it, baby. I'm here. She is my rock. Uh, 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 uh. She is my rock. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So I'm about to bust, baby. His rock. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Okay. What does mommy need to be working on? What does mommy need to be working on? What does mommy need to be working on? 39 of 9 on the clock. What does mommy need to be working on? Life path 3. Creative, diverse, extrovert, communicated. Again, y'all need to be... Y'all need to work on being more outstanding, more outgoing. Okay? Confirmation. Love, center of attention, livelihood, expressive, the seers, okay? The brothers and sisters of the life paths, okay? So, yeah, Gemini energy, third house energy, multitasker, gets bored easily, insecure, 
the talker. Yeah, you guys are being insecure. Why you gotta be so insecure when I gave you all of me? Have you wanted more and more and more and more and more and more? And why you can't get off my back? Okay, I can take a lot of shit, but I can't take that. There's ten of wands out here in reverse. Okay. I'm hearing Aaliyah, I refuse. Like, y'all at that breaking point, these tears that y'all about to cry is about to really bring us in. I see that your baby is pouring, your, like, your baby is doing magic with your tears in the astral realm. Take it how it resonates. And it, it rained so hard yesterday. Like, your baby is doing something. Your baby is doing something with your tears, child. What else does this mommy need to know? What else does mommy need to know? Okay. What does mommy need to be working on? What does mommy need to be working on? What does mommy need to be working on? Yeah. Divine masculine. She needs to stop thinking about karma masculine in these karma ways, and she needs to start focusing on divine masculine. <laughs> okay? Period. Your baby said you need to be focusing on my daddy, okay? <laughs> Focus on my dad. <laughs> Bitch, that's what the fuck you need to be doing. <laughs> period. Okay? It could be a karma masculine still, like, uttering around or something like that that could also be why this masculine probably is coming out in the reverse or well, this emperor is coming out in reverse because again he's letting you do you let you figure out what the fuck you really want and things of that nature so again it's that tough love but it's for the best but right now it's like y'all need to be working on something because again by the time june gets here like i said somebody between June of this year and October of next year, they're not gonna get. Then I have got pregnant and had a baby. They got resonate. What is this masculine? Oh, child. Who sacrifices? This masculine. This masculine is dealing with putting up sacrifices. He's gonna have to sacrifice some shit. The lady in red, pay attention, she devil, and he got to pay attention to these she devils, because again, your person is a high figure male, he has women throwing themselves at him all the time, he said, I was just fucking with them girls, I was gonna get right back, he's gonna have to learn how to have temperance and self-control, have obedience, okay? He's gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of his lifestyle to come fuck with you. He's used to people always saying yes. He's used to people always telling him what he wants to hear. He's used to people always on his beck and call. But you are a little bit different. You are a little bit intriguing. Again, why he has to fall back and pay attention and ask you and question you because these other people, he already knows how to finagle with them. You are different. You are divine. You are the empress. He cannot fuck with you like how he fuck with these other women period it don't matter where you are financially in life or anything your essence alone 43 43 was just on my heart your essence alone and he's gonna have to sacrifice these devilish women again like even how it came out he's gonna have to sacrifice these devilish women and it, it, it's funny because it came out on top of strip clubs. He could be used to fucking with strip clubs, unfit bitches. I'm saying that all the bitches in the strip clubs not fit, 44, 14. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not about to bring the stripper, the hottest stripper of the fucking city, to your fucking council meeting or something like that, or the fucking porn star. To your fucking, um, you know what I'm saying? Your your job's picnic, like, they're going to be looking at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, that's until you're married? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying, like, those type of girls don't get married, but most of the time, those girls marry dudes that are in their field. 
a guy that's going to get it, a guy who's comfortable with certain things, okay? Like, these type of guys are not going for that. Well, for this energy for me, anyway. Now, if you are in that type of field, and that's resonating with you, because, again, strip club did come out, and you have met a guy like that, and y'all, okay, you might have to sit down a little bit at <laughs> 245. You might have to sit down a little bit from your career and be behind the camera or something and have this baby. Or maybe you might have to retire. So if you want the family life, because some of those girls, they do retire and stuff like that. Like, ain't no shame in nobody game. Shit. Everybody has sexual encounters. Okay? And non least, y'all need to be burning some ancestor, man. Y'all need to be giving back to y'all ancestors and working with y'all ancestors and talking to them daily, weekly, monthly. Okay? All right. We're going to get with this spirit. We're going to tell mama and daddy, and we're going to be done. Okay? 46 oh, six, oh my god what does the spirit baby want to tell its mother what does the spirit baby and ancestors want to tell this mother what does the spirit baby and ancestors want to tell this mother what does the spirit baby and ancestors want to tell this mother one card please spirit yes, one card please what does the ancestor baby want to tell this mother? Thank you. Remember that billions of mothers have walked this path before you. Take comfort in this collective. The restless nights, endless feedings, constant soothings. When you're feeling weary, tap into their strength. Know that you can do this. You are doing this one step at a time. And by walking this road, you will bless the new mamas many years from now. With your experience, strength, and hope. Okay? And on the back of the card, it's just what we're sending there. You have to go in and do the shadow work. Do the shadow work. Okay? Don't be afraid to ask questions. You'll be feeling like you asking all these mothers questions. It's irritating them. They love to, you know, not saying everybody wants to be a mother and has the best advice, but, you know, say take it with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? That's just being for real. Y'all yeah, know I ain't lying. I walk with billions of mamas who came before me. Period. Some of y'all could be of Asian descent or something as well. Take that how I resonate. What does the spirit baby wants and ancestors want to tell the father? What does the spirit baby and ancestors want to tell the father? What does the spirit baby and ancestors want to tell the father? What does the spirit baby and ancestors want to tell the father? Okay, 4804, this is on my clock. What does the spirit baby want to tell the father? One card, please, spirit. What does the spirit baby want to tell his father? I am the perfect mama for my child. You two are the perfect parents. Together you grew into your new identities of mama and baby. You went through the holy fire of birth. You learned how to feed in the rhythm of postpartum rest. Each day you discover new ways of connecting. You've built a bond unlike any other. Never doubt that you are the perfect mama for your child. Okay, so you are the perfect father. Like I was saying in the beginning of the reading, Y'all can't just be procreating with anybody. You are the perfect person. Your spirit baby picked you out. Your spirit baby gave this woman the nudge to come to you. Okay, father? Also, you are going to be an active father. You're going to be an active parent. If you have other kids, you might wasn't able to be there with this prison letters coming out or for whatever reason, okay? But this pregnancy is everything about this pregnancy and with this woman, this life you're building, everything's going to be different with this woman, okay? It's saying just be open to the sacrifices that you will be making to build this life. Just like you procreated everything else, daddy. And you had to go back to the drawing board, sacrifice some things and add some things. It's the same thing with this relationship with this woman. You're going to have to motherfucking delete some shit and add some shit. All right? On period. On big P. Where the fuck is my app? I 
got a whole stack of prayer cards that is right here on this side. And I feel like that's the main one I should have. And I think that's the one I'm going to take. Just because I singled out. Oh, thank God for being patient. Oh, my paper that's got the Creole on it. I need that too. Wax paper, so again, some of y'all need to go wax with that fresh wax or shave. Again, some of y'all gonna be getting y'all wax. Some of these men could be offering to pay for your wax or something like that. Or some at this hotel could be offering waxes or a cruise or something. Some of the cruise. Getting a wax on a cruise or something. It says, God is within her. She will not fall. Psalms 46, 5. Okay? You ain't gonna fall. Divine time is the right time. Divine time is the only time. The present time is only is the only real thing that's real. Okay? God is within her. She will not fall. Psalms 45, 5. Okay. No, 46 5, my bad. But y'all already know what it is. It's my nation, my little gang, my little pop, my little take it over. Paper. Okay. Thank you for stopping by the chantel, the chantel. You already know my nation, my little gang, my little pop, my little take it over. Period. It's the newbie, the nova. More say, more say, more say, and ciao.